back with another video and uh, this is a request video by Ken on YouTube he uh, wanted me to kind of go over the media control center uh, console um, music whatever just kind of go over it and kind of give you an in-depth look at uh, everything you got going on in the middle unit here so let's get started on that so let's go ahead and flip the camera around and right now this is what it looks like when you're charging so once you plug in uh, this is what it looks like and uh, a lot of cool stuff in here but we'll get back to that uh, main thing that I think you guys wanted to see is the uh, you know the radio and stuff like that so what we have here is um, every Model S and Model X has your LTE built in or 3G uh, if you have an older model and then if you uh, want to, you can actually connect that also to your wireless home network, network if you wanted to as well. So I do connect mine to my home network just because it'll be faster. So you're going to have LTE or 3G for the life of the vehicle as far as Elon Musk is concerned. So what do you do for radio? And most of the time you hear about people saying, yeah, you can stream internet radio and you can. To me, I don't think it's the, the best choice. I'm hoping they uh, they bring uh, some other flavors for us for for uh, for streaming. Um, right now, if you go to internet here, you have TuneIn Radio and Slacker Radio, and these are just in the United States. I think over uh, in Canada, um, you have in Europe and stuff. I think you can use Spotify. I'm hoping they do bring that to United States. I think there's a some kind of licensing going on with that. So let's kind of get into uh, We'll get back to internet here. If you go to radio, it's really self-explanatory. All you do is click on FM. And you can and you can select your local stations easy enough. You just take your finger and, and drag it to your station that you're used to. So one of the ones that we have here is 98.5. And then when you find your station that you're looking for, you just hold the set it just like a normal radio. Now once you do set the, your stations that you like, when you go back to your uh, your little heart here up in the upper left hand side or you click on browse it'll show you all your favorites so you have like your FM stations that you just saw in the radio area here under FM and, uh, and then you have all your slacker and all your other stuff that you've favorited too so we'll get back to that so that's radio pretty easy to to do that's AM and you can go back to FM So on the upper left hand side here you have like your favorites and then you have your history of what you've actually used. And you can see I don't use the radio that often, I do, I do use Slacker. So let's go back to uh, the internet um, button here. Let's go to tune in radio. And if when you click on tune in radio you have like favorites. These are basically um, your favorites that you've used which I don't have any there. You can go to local radio stations and it'll basically what it'll do is it'll try to find your local radio station which you have here. 98.5 and you can stream that if you wanted to which is kind of neat and then you can go just to music by genre talk radio sports radio by location North America and podcasts so one thing I, I really haven't played in here too much I'm actually going to go to a local radio I'm going to select kiss here I'm going to heart that so that's kind of neat. So I could kind of use that wherever I'm at, even if I'm not local to the to uh, to New York here. I, if I drive out of the area, I could still listen to this. That's pretty neat. I didn't know you could do that. That's kind of neat. So let's go back into uh, our internet again, and let's go. I think we have to swipe back or something. Yeah, there we go. And let's go to Slacker Radio. This is the actual one I've been using. So it's a Slacker, Slacker personal radio, and then you can obviously do the same thing and kind of search by different genres and stuff like that. Um, I would actually just play with it. You know, have, you know when you have your when you get your vehicle, go ahead and play with these. Uh, what I generally do is I do I go to uh, favorite stations or top stations, and then I'll show you the ones that are being used the most. I usually do today's hits. Um, a, sl a slacker spotlight also gives you things that are, that the user are, users are using or streaming. So the slacker top 40 is what I usually choose, and it's one of my favorites. It's just the kind of music I like. I like you know pop and R&B and stuff like that. So 
So that's that's basically a couple of ways to listen to music in here. Um, also, you have my music and devices. And uh, let's go back to the heart here. My music and devices, and uh, right now my wife's iPhone was synced up, so you could select her iPhone if that was if it was connected, or you can add a Bluetooth device. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my my phone by clicking on the Bluetooth icon up top here, and then I'm gonna select Tim's iPhone and hit connect. Now when you do that, it doesn't automatically start streaming your music to the uh, media center here. You actually have to take one extra step. You actually have to click on um, right here, my phone. So even though you have your phone connected here, it's going to receive phone calls and all that good stuff. But it's not going to stream uh, any music yet until you actually select it inside of the you know, your music control center here. So once I select Tim's phone, and it's still not going to stream up until you tell it to stream something. So let's go into my Apple Music here and swipe away that. Let's go to this radio. Well, there it goes. So now you can select your stations here. Let's go Pure Pop. See now it's actually playing from my from my phone. Now one thing I I uh, I noticed is that like I do have the if you can see in here so I can get some more light on the subject I do or I installed the the USB. Um, it's like the iPhone holder basically and iPhone dock it does go right in pretty easily but I, I when you connect it in as far as I know it doesn't stream the music up into here uh, it's only connecting Bluetooth so if I was actually just disconnect my phone altogether from Bluetooth even though I'm connected here I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually it's actually connected to a the USB uh, hold on a second. I have a USB cord here as well. So being connected in the USB cord, like in my Traverse, my Chevy Traverse, um, you could connect in and then what it would do is you could actually play through your USB cord. As far as I know, it doesn't let me do that. Yeah. So as far as I know, like there's no way for me in here to to grab my phone and put it up here unless it's Bluetooth. So correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, if you guys are watching this video and you are able to connect in your phone via USB and stream it into your console, let me know. I, as far as I know, you can't do that. So I'm going to turn this off. So. All right, so now you can see it's a, a little later. It's about 7:42. Um, my console's changed over to the dark mode or night mode. So that's basically how you do. It. You're gonna select your Bluetooth device. Which let me go ahead and select my phone once again. And then select my device up here. Now in this in this whole media control unit here, you can turn up and down the volume. Um, this is normally for the person that's sitting the passenger can turn this up and down. You can too, and then on the steering wheel, you can control the volume too by using the up and down keys here. So, which is pretty neat. So let's see why we're not playing. And you can see it says Tesla Model S on my phone, like I was playing there, which is neat. Alright. So that's that, and then you have your favorite section, which I showed you before, and then your recently played. 
which is kind of like your history for the most part. So um, you also have now playing, and this this whole unit here can be split in half. So let's let's say you're listening to the radio, and then you wanted to uh, you know do some GPS. Now your your GPS is up here, and your radio is down here again. Um, inside the media control unit you can actually maximize if you see this little button here that means you can maximize and fill out the whole screen with that particular app if you want to call it that oops so if I want to maximize the uh, the, the radio unit the media unit whatever um, streaming unit you can do that as well uh, generally, I don't actually have this up here. I usually set this up here in the center. Um, and then uh, my unit, I usually do the, the backup camera um, down below and my GPS up top. So that's kind of an overview of the uh, of the media control unit in the middle here. It's uh, I didn't really want to go over too much like of the GPS stuff or the you know the calendar and all that stuff. I really wanted to go over this to radio stuff. So you guys can see what options we have for streaming. Again, all we do have for internet streaming is just Slacker right now and TuneIn Radio. They are comprehensive, but it would be neat to have something that would, you know, uh, really, really cool to have uh, uh, a service that all of us, you know, probably have subscriptions to already. Um, obviously, you're not going to have iTunes on there, and you can't connect your phone in easy enough. But uh, Pandora would be nice. A lot of people have Pandora or uh, Spotify. There you go. Spotify would be nice too. So, but that's the uh, media control unit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select my profile because I'm the one sitting in the seat here. It's a little close. And uh, look for uh, more videos for sure. Um, if you like our video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give us a thumbs down or subscribe to us if you like our content. Um, next video we probably have coming up is gonna be a, uh, I'm gonna go to dinner and I'm gonna have my car get uh, valeted and we'll put it in valet mode, which would be kinda cool, kind of a cool experience so you guys can see that. But until next time guys, peace, we'll see ya. Look, no hands. If you like Tesla Tim, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.